protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. It's Friday, December 19th, 2014, and I'm Leanne McAdoo. Here are tonight's top stories. Tonight, how the Sony hack is being used to push internet censorship. Then, a shocking map details child abuse in the United States. And students sign a petition to deport Americans in favor of illegal immigrants. That's next on the InfoWars Nightly News. Because if we don't get out of our coma when all of this is going on, we'll never get out of a coma, and it's going to get 10 times worse. So who knew the Sony hack would become such a big story that the United States would actually be forced to negotiate with terrorists? Now, even though it's still being kind of debated exactly where these hacks have originated from, it's already being used to rally the cry for new, intense cybersecurity legislation, much like we saw with the failed CISPA bill. Now, earlier, the nude photos were hacked from the celebrities earlier this summer. And of course, they started saying, we need tighter internet regulation. Now we've got this new calls out of Hollywood. The White House has said that we will retaliate in our own time. And uh, they've declared this to be a national security issue. And of course, with that, numerous prominent lawmakers jumped on the issue. They want to push through a zombie cybersecurity bill. The White House Economic Council director said that this Sony hack would require ongoing executive action by the president in order to protect federal government assets. And we've already seen what that executive action looks like. The president passes sweeping things with his magic pen and phone. And Dianne Feinstein said, we must pass an information sharing bill as quickly as possible next year. And McCain says that this is long overdue. So people are definitely using this. It looks a global failure, really, as the United States has kowtowed now before to China, now to uh, North Korea. So, I mean, we're looking like super weakness here over here in the States. Now, what is this zombie bill? Well, according to the Electronic Privacy Information Center, the Cybersecurity Information Sharing Act of 2014 allows companies to monitor private communications on their networks and to disclose user activity to the government. The bill would also exempt companies from any liability for monitoring communications or disclosing user information. So, of course, this gives extraordinary power to silence whistleblowers. And we did see similar calls for these draconian-style cybersecurity bills, as well as Chinese-style internet censorship in the aftermath of the Stuxnet, Stuxnet virus outbreak, which was, of course, perpetrated by our own government, as well as the flame virus that targeted nuclear facilities, which, of course, was traced back to our very own government. So it is important to point out that while no one has confirmed just where these hacks have originated from just yet, these are all within the capabilities of the NSA. Now, a presentation by a former NSA analyst revealed that it is feasible for the NSA to hack into a large corporation such as Sony and then blame it on a foreign country such as North Korea. Now, Charlie Miller, who spent five years exploring foreign computers for the NSA, gave a presentation at a recent DEF CON conference. This presentation was entitled, Kim Jong-il and Me, How to Build a Cyber Army to Attack the U.S. I mean, hello, is that the smoking gun for a false flag right there? Now, in this presentation, he explains various hacking methods and how easy it would be to blame an attack on another country. He says, maybe a computer from China is attacking you, but really, that computer is some Russian dude who's logged into that computer. So you can't tell, was it Russia or China? And on the opposite side, it will make attribution really hard for your opponent because you'll be able to attack from a thousand different places and from all over the world, and they're not going to know who you are. 
Miller also mentioned the strategy of dominating cyberspace by controlling as many computer devices around the world as possible, which is a key tactic of the NSA, and that's based on the documents that have been leaked by various whistleblowers, and we have, of course, reported on that extensively with all of these sock puppet programs, and this was years ago when he was giving this uh, DEF CON um, conference presentation, and now all this stuff has come out since then. So the ability to launch these cyber attacks from a controlled network in a foreign country and then attribute that attack to any faction First of all, that would be hard to disprove, but it could also easily be used to pull off a false flag attack, and all are within the capabilities of the NSA. And that is, of course, what we are seeing being rolled out, ramping up the calls for cybersecurity bills. You know, we're using this crisis, and now we've got to tighten legislation and have that executive oversight. Obama, like I said, he's, you know, going to retaliate in our own way and on our own time. He mentioned that today right before he went on his vacation to Hawaii. So, you know, maybe that means when he gets back from vacation. And U.S. intelligence says that it has evidence that North Korea is not the sole entity behind the Sony Pictures malware attack. A source told Fox News that the sophistication of the attack rules out North Korea and instead implicates Russia, China, or Iran. Isn't that so convenient? All of our foreign enemies, they're the ones that most likely did this hack attack. Now, it's speculated that the U.S. may respond to the attack by engaging in economic warfare against countries that are doing business with North Korea. So these are going to be Chinese companies operating in the country, as well as Chinese banks. So it's so obvious what's happening here. They're going to overblow this Sony malware attack and use it as another front into the war against Russia and China, which are, of course, seen as geostrategic threats by the financial elite. Now, we've seen the BRICS countries asserting their independence, breaking away from Western domination. Now, Re Russian President Vladimir Putin has invited Kim Jong-un to Moscow next year. He wants to boost their business ties. Uh, Moscow needs North Korean cooperation to boost its nat natural gas exports to South Korea. Gazprom would like to build a gas pipeline through North Korea to supply its South Korean uh, customers. And then Pyongyang is seeking support from Russia because, of course, it has uh, permanent veto power there in the UN. And they need defense against their international criticism that's relating to accusations of human rights abuses and its nuclear program. So, of course, this is all incredibly political. And just like before the summer, we had the nude celebrity hacking scandal being used to call for cybersecurity legislation. That wasn't enough. Now they're going to really disrupt Hollywood and make this be an actual national security threat to, of course, ramp up the war with Russia and China and get all the celebrities in line saying, let's go ahead and do something about this. Sold out for weeks due to the difficult and extensive proprietary process behind its creation, the exclusive InfoWars Life Secret 12 formulation is now back in stock in the last limited shipment of 2014. The most bioactive form that has been created with our proprietary process. This ultra clean vitamin B12 nutraceutical has been carefully crafted and developed over the last two years and is based on cellular science of how your body actively absorbs essential nutrients. Secret 12 is taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Vitamin B12 deficiency is linked to scores of serious problems. And Secret 12 is a fusion of two organic proprietary forms of vitamin B12, bringing you a true nutraceutical quality vitamin B12, Secret 12. Secret 12 is an excellent Christmas gift and is tailor-made to boost your New Year's resolutions. Supplies of Secret 12 are very limited. Secure yours today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Thank <laughs> you.